Hello, Atlanta Athletic Club. Matt Check, PJ Teaching Pro here at the club. Today, I'm going to hit the three yardages inside of 100 from the range. I'm going to really work on that 100 yards and in. I'm going to show you how you can do the same because if you show me a good player, I guarantee you they have a good short game. That's just the way it works. You're going to save the most shots, 100 yards and in. That's what you need to be really working on on the range. That seven iron, six iron, five irons on the range, not necessarily going to lower your scores right away. We have to get better with our wedges. So as I set up, I'm going to take my 90 yard shot first. I'm going to always start on the longest side and work my way in so I can kind of feel myself through it. Um, my 90 yard shot is with a full swing with a 60 degree wedge. So that's a great starting point. That's why I started right here instead of back farther on the range. So if I set up to hit this 90 yard shot, I'll hit one and I'll kind of talk you through the things I like to think about with a wedge. Wasn't my best shot, but pin high. As we work with wedges, let's talk about setup first. The first thing I want you to remember is we need to still hit these wedges in front of us. What does that mean? I want to make sure that my nose is just slightly behind the ball. Even if it's in the back of my stance, nose slightly behind the ball. Front of my stance, nose slightly behind the ball. Always that same kind of head position to get really accustomed to hitting it slightly in front of you. So that's number one. Number two, I like to have the front foot a little bit closer to the ball than the back foot. You can call this a closed stance, whatever you want. I'm not really necessarily thinking closed stance because I still have my shoulders at my target, my hips at the target. I just made my feet a little bit cockeyed here to help me get my weight forward. I want to make sure that my head's back and my weight slightly pressured forward without a lot of leaning back and so forth. So that's going to help with that. So number one, Head slightly back, nose behind the ball. Number two, left foot, front foot slightly closer to the ball to facilitate more weight forward. Now the last thing I'm gonna talk about is as you go back to make sure a one piece takeaway. So if you watch this, my left arm is in control, it's pushing back and it's pushing low to the ground. That keeps the club in front of my chest and that's gonna be very helpful to make sure that it comes back right out here in front. Whatever you give about the first two feet back, I feel like it gives it back to me on the two feet on the other side. So if I'm picking it up, it's going to want to pick up on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and go through this here. Go to 90 yards again. Nose right behind the ball. Left foot slightly forward. Push back and low. And then I can swing through with a normal swing. That's right on it. Okay, now we're going to go to 75 yards. I get to go ahead and go to that first slope in front of the green. I might narrow my stance a little bit. I might be a little bit, you know, less heavy in my feet. I don't need as much force through the ground. And I can go ahead and kind of swing about a little bit shorter. You know, to me, it's just a, the whole swing is a little shorter. I'm not going to go all the way back. I'm not going to go all the way through. And it's more feel than anything. Right in that slope. Good. And then you start thinking about, okay, maybe 75 yards is my good yardage. I hit that one perfect. Maybe that's where I want to start laying up to. Um, now I go to my 55-yard shot. Again, now all of a sudden, I got to, for me, I might move the ball slightly more forward so I'm not hitting down and compressing it so much. And then that's going to take a little bit of distance off. And then a lot of much more narrow stance. And then again, shorter than the other swings. Right there. Good. So I would rather you practice for an hour at three different yardages inside of 100 than for an hour with a five iron and driver center. Let's go ahead and switch up the practice routine and get dialed in with our wedges. And these few little tips might help you to keep the club in front of you throughout the golf swing, keep everything connected going through. So I feel like my left arm's connected, connected to my body as I go through. Instead of, you know, head in front, backing out, left arm going off my body, all these things. We're just trying to stay connected 
and set up in more of an impact position, which means the head slightly back, the weight slightly forward, and then we can just keep that club in front of us and rotate through it and really use our core and our body more actively on all yardages. I appreciate you watching.